Question number 13. This is a good question. For those programs, and a lot of them are using it, for those programs using the TOPS developed, the USAG TOPS development system, how do you incorporate their physical ability tests into their daily conditioning requirements? Um, well, TOP, you know, TOP success is very dependent on refining and mastering specific physical ability testing items that when you go to national testing, they test you on. Okay, these skills require additional attention. There's no, no doubt about it. You have to do those skills in order to get good at them. You know, we have um, phases in our TOP program. We have the first phase is a training group that focuses just on TOP skills and conditioning during the regular training times during three days a week. Okay, that's phase one of our TOP program. They come in, they train three days a week. They do nothing but core gymnastics, top skills, and top conditioning. We have incorporated a little bit of exposure to the level four routines and throw in a, throw them a bone every once in a while and let them go into a fun um, level four competition. But generally speaking, those guys are concentrating on TOP development. Okay, um, they're encouraged to do extra homework. Okay, they're only training three days a week. If we can get them to do a couple days at home. They're going to be farther ahead of the game, and we encourage them to use our open gym, which um, is always useful for you know enhancing some of those skills. The second phase of our TOP program, we invite those athletes that have really shown that they want to hit the highway and they really want to do advanced gymnastics, we invite them to attend our AM training sessions. Okay, We have about 16 athletes that do three mornings a week. Most of them are TOP um, age type kids. They train three mornings, two and a half hours, incorporates dance and trampoline, but they really hone in on the physical abilities and the basic top TOP uh, skills. Um, additionally, if that doesn't work, we um, and it doesn't for some kids, some kids can't do our AM training, we would set up a system where they incorporate their TOP testing as part of their complexes on each event, whether it be presses and chin levers on bars, um, et cetera. Okay. So that's how, that's how we handle that TOP system. Hi folks, John Getter here. I hope you got some great value from this video. I've got a few more Q&A videos I'd like to share with you, and you can grab those right now by simply clicking on the link below. Go ahead, click on the link below in the description box so that you can get your hands on these excellent Q&A videos to help you set up your gymnastics program for success. Now, I've answered questions from coaches like you from all around the world who are struggling to put in place a conditioning program that works. So go ahead. Click on the link below to get the next set of videos in this gymnastics conditioning series. I hope you enjoy.